kind of feel like the world is just crazy, scary, spooky, hilarious. All these models are made with AI, and I'm going to show you how easy and fast it is to do it in case you want to try it at home. Let's begin. All right, let's get straight to it. If you want to try this out yourself, you'll need to create an account on meshi.ai. This is where all the magic happens, where we generate those 3D models using the AI tool. And then of course, you'll need a 3D printer for printing the models. Something that'll give you some extra power as well is apps like Ideogram or Adobe Firefly, which I'm going to use, or any other AI tool that generates 2D images. And of course, all the links will be in the description below. All right, so the tool that makes all this cool stuff happen is Meshi.ai, or just Meshi, and it is the largest of its type. I think there's over 2 million creators in the community here, and uh, the assets, like if we go over to the community, there are so many models here in the millions. I believe it's over 20 million 3D models, which is absolutely nuts. Now, first impression when you look at this, you're probably thinking animation and game design, and of course it's great for that, but I'm all about 3D printing, so let's focus on that. If we go up here to workspace, uh, we can do text to 3D and image to 3D, which is my favorite, but let me show you really quick. We'll click on text to 3D and you'll get an idea of what this looks like, how it works. You've got all your generations over here nicely organized in folders and you can, uh, you can sort of remix those or regenerate those and save your favorites, but everything is well organized, which I really like. Okay, so on the right hand side, you can see text to 3D. Uh, we can input a prompt here, and then there are some basic options, but let's get straight to a generation so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so let's go with a simple prompt. We're gonna go with a skull wearing a top hat. And let's see what this generates. So as that one's generating, I'll quickly mention there is this refer a friend program where you can get free months. So that's pretty cool. You may wanna check that out as you're trying the platform. All right, not too bad overall. There's some strange things happening on some of these, but something I really love is you get these free retries. And I really appreciate that because, you know, it's not always gonna come out perfect the first time, so you can always regenerate. But we can do a lot better. And this is where I wanna show you my favorite feature, which is the image to 3D. I love it because it simply gives you more control. This is not gonna be about prompting. I'm just gonna show you quickly some of these things that I made. Uh, one is this little planter pot. I wanted it to look like it's melting. A prompt is over here if you wanna check that out. So I used that and then I wanted uh, to really test the limits here and produce something bigger that I could actually fit on my head. And you know, maker movement, I, I love it. So I wanted to uh, add some text there and see how it does with text. Uh, let's check it out in Meshi, see how that came out. Here's what it generated, all of these options, but let's click on the favorite that I saved right here. Pretty awesome overall, I'm really happy with that. I've got it sent to the printer, and this is what it looks like printed. I really love this possibility of creating functional prints. And we'll throw this fake plant in here to give you an idea. It looks super cool. Okay, so the other one, this uh, maker helmet here, as you can see, pretty good, having some trouble with the letters. So that is something to keep in mind as you're creating your models. And this is why I chose finally, because it looked really nice overall. I've got on the printer now, positioned in this way to try to minimize support. And that makes the back look a little bit rough, but you know, that could be something that is detailed later. Overall smooth, came out great. I was shocked that it fit the first time, the first print. I didn't think that was gonna happen, but it worked. Really nice symmetry, you can see on both sides. Overall, an awesome quality print. All right, so moving on, you're free to laugh, but trust me here, if you can trace the lines of the idea that you have in your imagination, you can use this now to guide AI. So I've taken this pretty sad sketch so that AI better understands what it is exactly that I want. Um, this next one is maybe a little bit better to demonstrate that. I was thinking I want sort of a pencil holder that has sort of a shape of castle walls, different variations, but as you can see, there's the reference image and that's scary close. I uploaded the image here and there it is. Look at that. It looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, a little bit funky here, but nothing to complain about because this is supposed to be rough stone. So going back to that other skull, if you look at these, uh, not exactly what I was looking for, but now check this out. This one here, isn't that just insane? And really, really beautiful. Look at those details. Okay, let's pop the skull off the printer. A little bit funky back here, but that's to be expected because of the support material. This one is looking beautiful as well, very smooth. 
Totally insane that it was generated by AI in less than a minute. Still can't believe this. And at last, here's the castle holder. I'll drop some things in here that I've got around the workshop. Really great for a desk space or to have anywhere that you just want to store stuff and have some cool decoration. All right, I hope you love this tutorial. Make sure to share this with me if you try this out. I'd love to know what you think in the comments. And of course, if you have any questions, hit me up as well. And as always, have fun making.